to our first video for Wanderlust Untapped. I'm Michelle and this is Erin and we are here to share with you our beer adventures basically. We enjoy traveling the world and drinking lots of beer and whenever we do travel we always try to find our local breweries and try new things on tap. So that's how we're kind of going to get started. This is our first video so hopefully it won't be too painful. But um, we're going to start today by reviewing a beer we've actually had before but we kind of want to start with something easy. Um, which is Estrella Dam. Yes, and the the whole point for us with drinking beer is we're not we're not beer geeks in the sense that we look at profiles and tasting notes and things like that. Basically, our criteria are pretty simple. Would you buy it again? Are you going to choke it down, or would you just pour it in the toilet? So that's pretty much the way we're looking at beer. Um, for me, beer has always been kind of the working class, uh, you know, drink. So it's more to be enjoyed than to be discussed. But, you know, if you enjoy discussing it and going through profiles, that's up to you as well. Um, so basically, the way we're going to do this is we're going to tell you what the beer is that we're trying. And then because we uh, kind of are obsessed with the untapped app, uh, just like getting badges, I feel validated. Although I stopped posting it on Facebook because I didn't want my family to think I was an alcoholic. Um, we're basically going to read what Untapped has to say about that beer and then we'll try it and we'll see if we agree or not. Uh, give you our recommendation for what it's worth. Uh, just keep in mind I enjoy drinking Moosehead beer so I may not be quite the connoisseur that you're looking for but let's give it a go. Well, and also we both have different preferences with beer. Like I don't particularly like hoppy beers, but I will try them. Um, whereas Aaron will drink just pretty much about everything. Um, so I think it's important to know ahead of time that we're not going to judge a beer. If I don't like something hoppy and I try something hoppy, I'm not going to dislike it necessarily because of that. And it's just good to try new things though sometimes. Sometimes a beer might say it's really hoppy on the label, or that might be the description, but when you try it, you don't get those flavor profiles, so to speak. So it's important to try new things. Exactly. So, Estrella Dam comes in this lovely large bottle, available at Tesco, for those of you in the UK, for only two quid, the value. And I would like to point out, this is my bottle of choice. Uh, didn't mention it, but I'm sure it's shocking. I'm, I'm a home brewer. Uh, and these are fantastic to reuse for bottles. The labels fall off quite easily and they're easy to cap and they hold a lot of beer. So just a fun fact if you're looking to uh, replenish your supply home brewers. So brewed according to the original 1876 recipe, it's golden with amber tones and a few green highlights. That's a little disturbing. It is clean and bright. The head has an ecru color. I don't know what the hell that means. I'll have to Google ecru and is long lasting. We recommend, is that like an emu? No. No. Oh. We recommend drinking this beer in a glass that is slightly closed at the top. Yeah, it's, it's coming out of the bottle, sorry. Uh, they get their website, you can follow the brand on Twitter. Untap says the profile is light, smooth, clean, sweet, and malty. It currently has a uh, rating of 3.09. Although it says my friends rated it 2.5. Who the hell are these people? I don't... Who rated it 2.5? I don't know. Well, they're not my friend anymore. All right, so here you go. This is... I don't see any green in that. It's necessarily. Ecru's not green. Well, it said green, though. It said Ecru, and then it said something like... I don't think that's what I meant by green. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it's not green, It's and it's fizzy. I don't know about the head. And I prefer drinking my beers out of a glass. Yeah, someone has to have it out of the glass. I prefer the bottle. So, to each their own. Yes. Um, this particular beer, when I taste it, um, the first flavor I actually get from it is sort of a honey taste. Um, it's really smooth and sweet, but not too sweet, but I, it does remind me of honey. I, yeah, I get a little honey. Um, it's just smooth. It's got kind of a, I hesitate to describe it as a lagery tinge. It depends on what you're drinking. Like when I drink Moosehead, it's a skunky beer. I so agree with you, though. I think it's very lager-like. I think yeah. it's really light and subtle. It doesn't have a ton of complexity in its flavor. It's just a good, solid drinking beer. 
And it's yeah. not one that you're drinking because it's got tons of different flavors. It's because you maybe want to drink a few of them. Well, and for me, the the thing with Estrella, I, I enjoy it. It's a drinkable beer. It's really easy. Um, it does have a bit of a bitterness, though, after a bit. Like when I, when I drink it, it has kind of an acidic thing going on. Like after you drink too much? Well, that always happens, but... <laughs> But when I first, you know, when I first take a sip, you know, sometimes you get these, these residuals. I really enjoy a lager where I can just drink it and not be fussed about um, any kind of like aftertaste, like old German, which I can't get over here anymore at all, which is sad. Um, it's probably best to not bring things up there. Yeah, that's what I know. Do you get malty from it? Uh, I do get a very slight bit of maltiness from it. Not a ton, though. I get that more subtle lager taste, though. Um, it's not a dark beer. I mean, it's a golden. So yeah, I think you're not really expected to get a ton of maltiness from something like that. But it's also not hoppy at all, which is probably why I like it, too. Would you consider it clean and sweet and smooth and light? I would, yeah. I all think right. Untapped's pretty accurate there. All right, so I'd say Untapped is on the money with their description. Of so Estrella Dam. If you like clean and sweet and light, this might be a good beer for you. We really enjoyed it when we went to Barcelona. Um, we like going to craft breweries when we go traveling, um, but we'll also hit you know bigger places if we if we're out and about. And sometimes um, you're just desperate too. Yeah, it's really good on draft. We've had it in a few places. Um, when we lived in Edinburgh, uh, there was a, a place that had it on draft in Portobello. So I mean, it's got kind of a little bit different flavor. Um, get it on draft as well but it's just a good it's a good solid clean beer um there are other ones obviously that lagers wherever you go we've got tenants here in scotland uh in greece we have mythos so or there's a beer beer moretti beer moretti in italy another very similar beer yep. to estrella dam so a lot of different um types of beers but they're all kind of basically the same flavor profile so if you're looking for just a standard good beer that's actually Mass produced and is easy to get, which is another important thing, right? I mean, we don't want to fall in love with a beer that you can't ever get. Right. I know there's quite a few beers in New Zealand that I'll never drink again unless I go back to New Zealand, and it's the time of year. But, well, and also, it's it's odd, and I've talked to people about this before, but there's a visual thing for me when I'm going looking for beers, and it's nice because it's a big bottle. Uh, when I go and I um, see the 12-ounce bottles, the little wee ones, I'm always, because they're charging a pound 80 for one of those, and it's just difficult. You know, you really hope it's a good beer. This is for two pounds. I'm getting, you know, a lot of beer. I know I like it, so it's a solid choice. Um, but there are, I mean, we do try all kinds of beers. We try the, the smaller bottles. We try the bigger bottles. Yeah, but it's just one of those cost points where, you know, if you maybe want to spend a little less, maybe you get a bigger bottle and you pay a tad more for it, and it's a beer you're happy with, too. So, I mean, it, there's sort of that argument that you have in your head whenever you're standing in the beer aisle at a store or in a beer store thinking, you know, what kind of beer do I want? Well, how much beer do I want? And it's sort of, you know, which is going to be more cost effective and which am I going to like more? Do I just want to try new beers? So there's a lot of things you have to think about when you buy beer, especially if you are someone who just really enjoys trying different and new things. And no one wants to go broke buying beer. I started home brewing. Unfortunately, it takes about a month for it to be ready. So you have to be a little patient. But it's not as bad as making cider, which takes like a year. So six months. Or six months. And it smells like ass. It's great. Anyway, so that's us. Uh that's our first video done and dusted. Uh I'm guessing a lot of this will be edited. No. I'm gonna put it up just like it is. You can suffer with us. It's gonna be like going and watching your grandparents' home movies. It'll be like a train wreck. Well, so we're going to try and film anytime we drink beer, which could be when we're traveling, could be when we're home, right, we're at home right now. But in a couple weeks, we'll be on Sky, and a couple weeks after that, we'll be in Spain. So um, you'll get videos from us from different places around the world, hopefully, and then trying different beers. But also, um, hopefully, it'll encourage you to not only drink more, but also travel more. In moderation. Of course. Both, probably. Know your limits. Um, <laughs> Don't drink and drive. But the important thing is, you know, share our page with your friends. Tell everyone about it. 
we're just trying to get the word out. We want to share our experiences with other people in a non sort of posh way, I guess. Non judgmental. Non judgmental. That's a better way to put it. We don't want to um, share beer experiences um, in a way that sort of alienates people or makes them feel dumb about beer. We think everybody should be able to enjoy something in life, and we hope that it's beer and travel. Exactly. In, in that order? Yeah. All right, that worked well. Maybe. Sort of. Uh, anyway, so that's us, and we will see you again soon. I think the next beer we're going to be trying is from Larrick Brewery. Uh, we've got a mate coming over from the States. It's going up the sky with us, so hopefully we'll get uh, get some video of us trying the Larrick beers and some uh, Isle of Sky brewing beers, which are really good as well. I had quite a few of those. I hope they have some new ones. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. It's Wanderlust Untapped. Uh, I believe, yeah, that's pretty much it. We also have a blog spot. Um, I got to tell you, I'm terrible at follow through, so hopefully we'll be posting stuff on the blog uh, now and again when I remember. Anyway, that's us. It was nice to meet you. Bye. Hopefully we see you again. Clearly this is a poor life choice.